Hello everybody and welcome back. It's G Bears stuff in the sky. <coughs> I got a a little crick in my throat here. I think I swallowed a bug. No, not a Volkswagen. Anyway. <laughs> that was a sad joke, wasn't it? Anyway, I was out here today. And uh, we're getting ready for some rain. The forecast has changed. Now the rain is due uh, Thursday. Wednesday night into Thursday. And uh, let's see, what, what is today? Sunday. <laughs> so I got a few more days. It's a spring-like day today. It's uh, definitely in the 60s. Feels nice and comfortable out here. And uh, I decided to get a few things done in the garden get ready it's uh, getting to be that time but anyway uh, I got a potato there a potato there and a potato there one potato two potatoes three potatoes uh, and my avocado trees are so far surviving the winter and the few deep freezes we had uh, cilantro is starting to show onions are doing great the Peach trees starting to show some buds on the ends of the branches, so that peach tree is going to be coming to life here pretty soon. Of course, winter's not over yet. My greens are looking great. Uh, my greens are looking green. That um, these all these uh, uh, prunings I took off that non-producing pear tree are all stuck in the ground here and. A lot of them are showing signs of uh, growth. Look at this. They're, they're showing signs of growth there. That's something. So hopefully some of those will root and I'll get some more root stock out of them. And I uh, had a neighbor by the, uh, yesterday. Uh, he's looking to uh, put up a bunch of trees to use as uh, a living fence between his property and the neighbor's property. So. I helped them out with some uh, seeds for this type of tree because these are evergreens they grow they keep their leaves uh, winter and summer and spring and fall and uh, that's not all so anyway I really wanted to get some grafting done but the uh, weather is not going to cooperate say so if you get water or oxygen into the graft cuts after you graft then it, the graft will fail so what I need to do is do it when there's not going to be any rain or I have to um, put the whole graft and the trunk and seal it tight against the top with some tape so that water can't get down into there otherwise all the work is for naught and then it's not even a knot tree it's a, it's a pear tree. I don't have any knot trees. <laughs> so I pruned off some of the uh, tomatoes here. That one's got a bunch of cherries on it and it's pulled out of the ground. But uh, I'll let the cherries ripen and as I walk by I uh, pick them up like this and pop it in my mouth. And I go, mmm. Now that's the way a tomato is supposed to taste. So my rosemary has got signs of uh, new growth popping out the top. I've got to get a an air layer off of that and uh, get it to my neighbor Letty. She wants uh, to grow some rosemary. Of course, you can grow your rosemary, but don't start plucking on it and cutting off branches right away saying, oh, I'm going to use some of that rosemary for my cooking you'll kill the plant. You want that plant to really get established before you start pruning anything off of it. So give it a good year or two years to really establish like this one I did. And uh, now it's got a lot of fresh growth on it, so it's gonna end up being a very productive plant. All right, lastly, before I go any further, what the title of this uh, video was all about, the uh, free phone. Well, I told you that I had uh, 
a bulge in the back of my um, my cell smartphone and uh, when I tried to press the, the case back closed again the case cracked so I was wondering what the heck was going on so I do have a, a Shurion insurance on my uh, phone and I could put a, a, an insurance claim in on it and get a new phone or, but what they'd send me is another phone of the same make and model or so of what I already have. And I think the deductible on that is $125. And that's $125 I don't have. But I would have to spend because I can't go without my phone and my camera and that stuff. Can't have a YouTube channel without a camera, right? So anyway, what happened was... I got a email in my um, main mail from my cell phone carrier and said, hey, if you'd like the brand new Samsung S24 Plus for free on us, all you have to do is trade in your old phone and we'll give you a thousand dollar credit on your uh, new phone, which will make your new phone free. And I said, Okay, well, there's got to be a catch here. They're going to want me to change my plan or something like that. It's going to cost me a lot of money. So I got the guy on the phone, and I got talking with him yesterday, and he says, Oh, no, you get to keep your old plan. Your, your bill won't change. It'll be exactly the same amount every month. The only thing you have to pay up front is tax. So he said, Okay. That sounds fair enough. How do we go about this? So he sent me something to click on in my uh, email. I clicked on it. I filled out the application. And uh, it says that uh, I had to pay the tax up front, which was, I think, $120. And I said, okay, that's fair because the deductible on my insurance is $125. So it's actually a savings for me to go this way. And with my insurance, all I'd get is a refurbished phone of the same make and model that I already have. But with this new one, I'm paying $5 less and I'm getting the latest phone out. So upcoming, my videos should be nicer because there's a lot more features built into the new uh, phone it's the uh, samsung s24 plus is the one i'm getting and from what i understand is it's supposed to be a really nice phone with a lot of new features so that's going to be interesting now when is all of this going to happen well i just got the notice this morning that it will ship as of today but it's a two-day trip, so Tuesday. I should receive it on Tuesday. And that will be the day when I will say, hey, this is the new phone talking. And we'll go from there. All right, everybody, thanks for joining me. This is G-Bear signing off.